Hey there, my name is Jamie with Your Guide to Style, and today I am just doing a very chill, non-scripted video. I have my coffee with me, I'm in comfy clothes, and I just really wanted to talk to you guys about a new video series that I want to do, and this is going to be the first one, and it's going to depend on you whether or not this is successful. So if you have watched some of my other videos and are watching this one and have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me. And also give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked it in any of my other videos. And also if you comment, which I've gotten lots of comments from you guys, lots of questions, lots of suggestions, and I really appreciate it. So what I wanna do is in this Q&A video, I want to answer questions from any of the previous videos that I did during that week that you put questions or suggestions on. So this would be a weekly video that I could do. It'd be a third video that I would put up. It would be just off the cuff, more personal, and just a way for us to have a conversation. So you ask me a question. I answer it or you may make a suggestion and if I think that suggestion is helpful to other people that would watch these videos, then I will talk about it. These suggestions are things that you think are going to be helpful to others. So nothing negative. If y'all wanna leave a negative suggestion for me or something you don't like, that's fine. I'm just not gonna share it in this video. I wanna share things that are going to be helpful to others that will help them with their style if there's something that I didn't mention that you do that would work for someone else. It's those kind of things that I want to put in this video so they can help other people. And then your questions the same way, something that would be helpful to someone else. And any content that you guys want to see, please let me know as well. That is a good suggestion. And then I can do a vote on it in a video because y'all love telling me your opinion and I'm so glad. So I'm going to ask these things and I want to know what you want and what you like. So that is why we are doing this and I just ask that y'all keep it positive. And so the thing that you would need to do in order for me to be able to filter these questions on my videos is just put Q and A colon so I can find those and know that you would really love for me to answer that on my video. And you know, that's gonna be the easiest way for you to participate and for you to let me know and for me to find it because I get a ton of comments and the way they the way you search through them on youtube that would make it easy for me so just q a colon let me know that you want it in the q a video and i will do my best to answer it if i get you know 20 questions i may not be able to hit them all but maybe i can group them and do my best to give you guys the information that you need and any suggestions you make i if it's helpful to other people i will definitely do that or if i want people to vote on something I did a question in a video about whether you guys like my collages or wanted to see more of outfits on me. And a lot of people really love the collages and thank you for answering those questions. It was very helpful to me in knowing what you guys want. And I know some of you want to see try-ons more. And so I am going to try to do one or two outfits in a video if I can and give you guys what you want. So. That is why I'm here. That is why I started this YouTube channel. It is to help women with their style and answer some of those questions that women can never get answered by a professional because I, I have dressed women for a very, very long time. It's what I love to do. And I love being more hands-on, but these days it's just not possible. And I'm not gonna go back into retail world. I don't wanna work retail again. I really want to make this successful and you can help me do that. So if you wanna participate, Q and A colon, and let me know what questions you have or what suggestions you make and I will share them with you in this video. And this video will only be successful if you participate. So starting with a couple of questions that you guys had, I had somebody on my How to Style an Oversized Blazer video ask, are you recommending not to use a double-breasted blazer for an oversized look? And I guess I wasn't as specific in that video about what blazers. I did talk about double-breasted blazers. And then when I got to dresses, I think I said that it would be better with a single-breasted blazer than a double-breasted blazer. And so, yes, oversized blazers 
are really nice when they are double breasted and it makes them a little bit more oversized because you have more material there that makes them oversized. And so yes, that is a good option, but I do love it more casual than I do dressed up. So if you are going out and wearing a dress and want to do a cool oversized blazer with it, then my suggestion was just to keep something a little more streamlined, maybe even more boyfriend style than oversized to do with that. So that's what I meant if anyone else was confused because I do love the, uh, the um, double breasted oversized blazers and I think they're great done very casually. Um, so that was that one. And then someone else had asked, they said they just got a new cardigan they love and they think it would go well with chunky shoes, maybe some relaxed fit jeans or wide leg. If these go out of style, do you think they will come back again? So that was part of the thing. And I think she was asking if the chunky shoes will go out of style and if they'll come back. I do think chunky shoes definitely come back. It took them a really long time to come back because I remember in the 90s when I was in college is when I wore chunky shoes and they have not really been in until now. So they definitely do come back around. I wish I had held on to my Doc Martens and my John Fluvogs, if any of you know what John Fluvogs are. Um, I wish I had hung on to those because those boots were uh, amazing. So if you get some great chunky booties and or chunky shoes that all hang onto them, they will come back around. It just may take a while. But if it's relaxed jeans or wide leg, those are kind of relaxed jeans are the thing right now. And I do think they will go out and then come back. Wide legs have always been an option. If you want to do that, they've not always been on trend, although they, are, although they are on trend now. So I do think most everything does come back around. So if you have something great in your closet, you don't have to get rid of it. If you think it's going to come back, most things do. I mean, if it was just a trendy item that you didn't pay much for, you may want to get rid of it. But some of these chunkier shoes and jeans and things that we pay for are pretty expensive. And if they're in good condition, I'd go ahead and hang on to them because I do think that they are going to come back. So you guys have made some really good suggestions on my video that I did not address in my video that I think were really great that I, you know, if you don't read any of the comments on my videos, then sharing this will be good for you. And the first one was people who want to try the baggy jeans or wide leg, the best would be trouser jeans. It's still wide leg, but more refined, a true baggy or wide leg jean that doesn't taper on the bottom which I do agree with her. And if you don't know what trouser jeans are, this is kind of complicated because trousers, if, when you think of pants, tr you know, some people just call pants trousers. It's basically something that has, you know, a little bit of a wider waistband. It has belt loops and zips up the front and it's a pant. So even some people call trousers more wide legs. Some people call trousers that are more straight or skinny. So when you think about this, when they talk about trouser jeans, it is a pair of jeans that to me is a little bit dressier. They do have a little bit of a wider leg that goes straight down and has a thicker hem at the bottom. So it'll be, you know, about a two inch hem that you will see on the bottom of that jean. And so it just looks a little bit dressier, has a little bit of wider waistband and it looks more like a pant than it does a jean. And so I think the trouser jeans are great. They are a little dressier, but they are, I think, a good option if you want to do a baggier or looser fitting style and that fits into your wardrobe. I do think that was a great suggestion that she made. So again, on the Walmart free assembly product review video that I did, someone suggested that I also review the Scoop brand and I was planning on doing that because the Scoop brand is very interesting to me. I don't know if you know the backstory of Scoop, but I would love to tell you about it and then do a review on that. So let me know in the comments below if you would like me to review the Scoop brand at Walmart because I really do want to do that. And I might do it anyway, <laughs> even if you guys don't say you want it. Um, and then I had someone say that they love, so they said one of my favorite looks, and this was on the, um, let me see what video, transitional fall 2021 outfits. And this person said, one of my favorite looks I've admired for decades is tights with a pair of denim shorts. I look best in tight, 
to the thigh shorts um, at just above the knee, but lots of variations in this combo is so cute. I love it with boots or footless tights with sandals. And so I really thought that was a good suggestion. I know it's not something that everybody loves or would do, but I do think that is a great transitional way to wear your shorts. You can even do it with a dress pair of shorts so you had some black dress shorts and then you had a cute blouse and some tights and then a little black booty I think that would be really really cute for a transitional look and if you like the denim shorts you could do that it's definitely a look and it is a good suggestion because someone may love that and I am glad that she left that on there because I do think that is a fun uh, way to transition your shorts into the fall and my favorite way to do that would be darker denim shorts with darker tights black tights and the black booties and um, try to keep it a little more seamless but I do think that look is really cute so and let's see someone has also um, said that they would like to know it says I just want to thank you so much please tell us more about what trends to wear especially for women 50 years plus and this was on my fall trends 2021 wear this not that video which you guys have really loved and do you guys want to know trends by age do you want me to do videos because I've helped all ages I have helped women in their 40s in their 50s in their 60s all the way up to 80s I have shopped for women in their 80s so if any of you want to have videos that are by age I would love to know that so tell me in the video because in those videos I would have to explain to you how I think about styling with age because I probably don't approach it like a lot of other people do and so if you want to know that as well leave me that as a question and I'll tell you <laughs> So I think that was it. That was all that I had that I wanted to touch on for this week. Leave me some questions below if you would like to. I'd probably use this video as one of the videos that I do my next Q&A. And so if you have anything, any suggestions, and these suggestions are not to make me better. <laughs> these suggestions are any content that you want, any um, styling advice that you do that you want to tell people about that you want to share so definitely leave those in this video if you think of something and then the next videos that i have coming up and i will try to do one another one of these if you guys want to so thank you so much for watching i had a lot of fun just sitting here talking to you guys and just chilling on my couch so thank you for watching and i will talk to you next time